Good morning. This is Angie and we're back with our Stamperia Blues collection and we yesterday finished up page one and two finally. We have our mats included with it. We've made our filigree mat we have on our bow and we've gone to this page we did change this one a little bit just to save on paper we went to the inside and we made our pockets we have our little secret pocket I still think there needs to be something here so we're going to have to think about that one and we've made this with our mat we have our one large photo mat and over here we have a little tag pocket a little 5x7 or is it a 4x7 and another little mat here about the same size but we've tucked it into this little tuck pocket so we are ready to start on page three. I have page three out here and I went ahead and put a center mark on it. Um, I was too soon on that because I realized that in our blues album on page three we have this piece and then we have our flip pockets but we also have under here, we have this mat, we have under here a pocket page. And we've added this nice embellishment on it with our ribbon, our burlap ribbon. And then we have a mat to make for here also. Um, so we are going to start with this pocket page we're going to use an envelope maker to cut this out. I have gone along and cut out all these pieces on that one piece of paper in our packet so I remembered to save all those because you, you can see we're going to need some different things. So pretty much I've tried to go through and cut what I could I have made these little um, page closures. I tried to rest them up a little bit with the distressing ink, the vintage photo. And on those I used that brown paper that was in between all of these envelopes and cutouts. So I saved that. I made some little circular cuts with them. And I'll show you how I did that really quick. So let's just start there. I have one black one punched out. I don't know if you can see, but uh, I know you can see, but um, I have added a little tiny square on the bottom of these and it is a little stack of three or four let's see it's hard to tell after they're all glued together they glued so nicely got gluey on the back with my hands. I think it's a stack of three. That's to give room for the twine to wrap around them without having to bend them up too much. So we're going to need another black one. And we'll need one of these.
And we want to be sure we save some more of the brown for uh, some of the areas in our book where we want to make it look like a little rusty hinge. So I'm going to place that over by my basket. Now to get a stack of squares, I'm going to take just a small strip. Just a small strip. I'm going to put some glue on it. And I'm just going to fold it over. Clean off the glue. I guess I must have made a stack of four because then I put some more glue on and I folded it over another time. Yep, I did a stack of four. And then I just cut it down to size. So it's about this large. I'm going to use the one on the right. And there we go, there's that. Now to continue making this hinge, and I know this does take up space in your album, but I'll tell you, it really makes for a nice um, closure um, where you can actually just wrap your string around it or ribbon or whatever, what have you. My little towelette, my washcloth, my rag. Okay, and then I went around the edges and I did the edges. And then I did the top. And even if there is some glue bits left on this, it actually gives it a nice texture for a rusty look. Then I put a little spot of glue right in the center. Oh, got an air bubble there. A spot of glue. And I put that little square right on top of it. And I pressed it down good. And I kept centering it until it decided to stay centered. And there you go. Now we have a closure that the string can wrap around the base. And then each closure will need a hole pushed through it. I'm pushing through the bottom so I make sure I'm in my square. And then I'm going to push back through there. And we are going to put uh, brads through these. Ow! Don't poke yourself. <laughs> it hurts. You don't realize how sharp your tools are until you poke a hole in your finger. I might have to get a band-aid for that. I don't know why I don't just leave them in the room. I'm constantly injuring myself. So very carefully poke through there without poking a hole in your finger because we don't need to stick a brad through our finger, do we? Thankfully they heal over quickly. Okay, so we have that done. We really don't have to worry about that poking up too much. Excuse me while I get another clean rag. Okay, 
This is the envelope punch board. I don't know if you have one of these. I hope you do. If you don't, I'll show you how to, I'll tell you how to, how to make this shape. So we have this one right here on the side. We are going to line this line up right with that one. And punch this. We're going to flip it over, line that one up right with your thing with your edge, and punch that one in. Move this aside. And we will take this tool. Nope. Let's take this one. It will sit down a little better on it. And we're going to line it up. We're going to line the bottom of this curve up with your ruler. And we're going to move this one down to the line, the bottom of that curve. And then we're going to carefully slice that off. Ah, oh, there it went. There we go. You can throw that little piece away. It's definitely not a keeper. Okay, so now we have that shape. And that will go right on here. So this piece was a full piece and I measured it to fit this. I put scored a half an inch on each side of it and on the bottom for this pocket. And I made sure that it came down just slightly from the top. Just just barely. That just gives a tad more space for your pocket. Now in the um, original one I went ahead and cut this even deeper for that tab that I put on it. But I decided to leave this one a little taller. Okay, so what's next? Let's go ahead and before we apply our pocket, we have a paper that's going to go over the top of it. So let's Cut our piece of paper. I'm using this one with the white textured uh, burlap look in the back, the polka dots. And I haven't broke into packet two yet, I don't believe. Let me get some paper clips. Oops. Okay, I'm just going to line that up where I'm going to need it, where it's going to sit on this, and I'm going to clip it. Okay, lay those sides down so you can access this better. Um, and then I'm going to trace around this with my pencil. Whoops. I see it. I must not have it lined up well. Nope. I'm off just a little bit. 
This side should have came up just a little bit more. Just a tad. I really want it to be even with this one, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it the same. Okay. Now we are going to cut to the right side of this line. And the reason we're cutting to the right side is so that when we put it on the front we have just a tad bit of black showing. Mine is a little more than just to the right. My eyes are off today, I'm sorry. We were having thunder a little bit ago. I was a little bit afraid to start recording, thinking that we might get a power outage. We get some nice thunderstorms in the summer, but inevitably they're a terrible fire danger. You can save that if you think you'll use it. I don't think that I will. And there we go. Now when we put this on here, it's going to fit nicely. Not super perfect, just super nicely. Okay. So you've measured this out, and you've made it so your pocket fits, and you've made your envelope score. Now if you want to make one of these, and you don't have an envelope punch, you would, let me find a piece of paper here, you would just measure down from the top, um, about three quarters of an inch on one side and make a dot. Come to the other side and measure down three quarters of an inch and make a dot. Draw a nice line across there and then um, put a, an angle on it from the top to the dot So you would want to like measure in, um, what is that, about a half an inch, make a dot, measure in a half an inch and make a dot. And then the base is over about seven eighths of an inch. So then go down to your line that you've made measure into seven eighths and make a line and the same way here seven eighths of an inch and make a line then cut from your dot to that line you just made and from this dot to this line and then you'll set this down on your baseline that you made and cut it off as well now that would be using an X-Acto knife. If you're cutting it with scissors, you will want to cut it just inside of your black line, or no, just on your black line on this one. And that will make a perfect little shape like this. Then you'll do the same thing with your base paper that I did here. You'll put it underneath your paper and you will sketch that line on there and then cut it inside 
above the black line. So let's go ahead and attach this. We better remember to, to, to distress it. Yes, yes, yes. Distress, distress. I'm not distressed, but my paper is. Okay. Before we apply that to our, our base page. Okay. You want to measure this piece and find your center. And we will want to That center is going to be important in a little while. Well, actually we're going to need it on here. So don't worry about your center yet. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm ahead of myself. Okay. Let's attach this our envelopes we are going to attach on top of this. Is that how I did it? I don't know. don't remember. Let's see. Yes, we're going to attach them on the top of this. Okay. Oh, my glue. There we go. Remember to clip this corner off, otherwise it might show. Same way here. And I already cut the bottom ones. Okay. We don't want that to actually show through our um, top of our pocket. Although we are going to put paper over it. I suppose that would hide it. Oh, tired today. I did not sleep well at all last night. I kept waking up over and over again. I was so glad when 3 a.m. came because I felt like I could go ahead and get up. And getting up was much better because I could have a cup of coffee. I didn't have to worry about trying to sleep anymore. Do you ever have those kind of nights? I suppose you do. And I'm afraid to let myself wake up too far because then my brain starts going. And it starts thinking about everything at once. <laughs> Furnish this down. For some reason my corner did not burnish down, so I'm going to add some more glue in there. And squish it out the sides. Let's check this corner. No. Glue, glue, glue. And it did not glue down either. So go ahead and put some glue in there and let it squish out. Hold it down temporarily and let it set. Wipe off the excess. Okay.
My glue is not working very well this morning, is it? Now I did shake it up. Maybe I need to shake it a little more. Just going to take some of that glue spots off of there. Okay, let's double check, be sure this is going to fit. We're not going to attach it yet. Okay, it does fit. Now we need to find a piece of paper to go inside of here. And you know, I really don't like that that's not very deep. I mean, it's deep pocket. I don't know if I like not being able to get in there very well. So I believe with my Fiskars punch, I don't know what size this one is. It doesn't say. If it fits in here, I'm going to go ahead and hole punch this right in the center. I'm only going to set it up about halfway. And that gives us a nice little area right there to be able to pull things out with. But now we've got to make it here, don't we? So I'm going to pull this down just slightly. I'm going to make a mark for the sides of my punch. I know it's not centered very well. We're going to line this hole punch up with these little pieces on each side. Let's try that. Yes, that will work just fine. There we go. That would make a good tab. I just threw it away. Go ahead. There we go. That actually makes a very cute pocket. I like it. Okay. Do not glue this down yet. We have hinges to make over here and here for our, our pockets. That one is part of the door. Where did I put our pockets? Let me get rid of my envelope. Thing. Goes in a shelf over there. Set that aside. What a mess! I have a mess. Mess, 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 mess. Let's get rid of a few things. Let's put our hole punch away. Okay, that helps a little bit. Won't drive me too crazy now. Okay. Now we're using these little square envelopes. We're going to cover them. Before I glued these down or anything, I want to show you how I how we're going to do it. But I cut my pieces that I needed. Now I just used the back of the rest of this paper for the envelopes. For the front of the envelopes. So that they will match with this. And I cut up as much of that paper as I could. Okay, and some of these, like these two, I flipped them over. There's that same side, so you can use that side, or you can use the opposite side. 
which would have been the tags. Now the reason I decided to stick with using this same paper is saving on paper, by doing this and saving on paper, when we get to our next pack of paper we may be able to save more of our tags, which would be really, really great. Okay, so here we go. We are going to glue this to the front. No, we are not. Don't, don't hear that. <laughs> we are going to glue this on the front of this. But we need to make this pocket shape. I'm hoping that this will fit down in there tight, nice and tightly. Go ahead and push it all the way in. Once again, we're making our lines. Am I out of camera? Oh, I heard somebody tell me, you're out of camera. Thank you, whoever you are, thank you, thank you. I heard you. So here we go. Now let's cut just to the right side of it. And that should give us a nice little space or a nice little edge around our um, envelope opening. I heard you again. I'm getting back in the camera. It's a new day. It's a new day. Boy, I'm so glad to be awake. <laughs> I'm so glad to be out of bed. Man. Worst night ever. Now this one should be the same size as your other envelope. And if so, double check it. If so, put these two together. Easier than trying to restuff that envelope. Line them up good on the sides. I can see I cut this one just slightly shorter. But that's okay. There we go. Now we have another line, so cut just to the right. Unless you're cutting on this side, then you'll cut to the left. Now this little piece here, since we're cutting these out, we can actually save them for our letter page. And we'll distress them. I'll show you. Just cut these off. Don't even have to worry about the bottom line. We'll distress the edges. You can even cut out some of the angles to make them all shabby looking or whatever. We'll curl them just a little bit with a pencil and then we'll put them underneath one of the other envelopes. And since it has the writing on it, it will look really nice under that envelope. So save that piece with writing on it. It'll be useful and helpful. Same way with this one. We're already pre-decorating for our next page.
You can just rough the sides up with a scissor if you want, if you don't want to cut it this way. Distress it as much as you like. Curl it up if you like and distress those little pieces. And then just roll it up with your pencil. And give it a nice curve in there. And that is going to be for our envelope page. Okay, now you've done the fronts, which is actually the back. Uh, these envelopes. Oh, I do like the way that gets in there. That's very nice. That little edge on there really gets in there nicely into those little corners. It's looking kind of like a green color today. What the heck? I wonder if it mixed with this if there's a dye in this little sponge. Let's give it some more brown ink. There, I like that better. Okay, so there's one. Let's do the other one. Oops, I have a pencil line on there. I don't know why. I guess that was I was going to cut this into something else and then decided on this. If you have any pencil lines left, go ahead and erase those before you get all the way around this with your ink. It, it, it will still erase, but not quite as well. Okay, let's go ahead and... Oh my! A little ink thing on there. It's a little ink hair. Okay, see all of them? That sponge must be losing little bits and pieces. I was hoping it wouldn't do that, but I guess it will because the edge of the paper, as we know from my paper cut the other day, will cut things down. Okay. Just that is just such a little bit of a green color there. That is so weird. I hadn't re-inked it yet, so it must be the um, the pink. I really don't know. That's so weird. Okay, green it is. Oh look! If you want to use the other side with the bird on it, you can. If that's the piece you cut out, it's so cute. Love the little birdie. Uh oh. Oh goodness. I am just off today. I guess I'm just tired. <laughs> oh, I tell ya. I had was dreaming, dreaming, dreaming. I'd wake up from it. And then of course, the cat wants attention once I wake up. My ink is inking all over the place onto my white. That's okay, we're going to put something in there. Anyway, I would dream, 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 wake up, and go right back to sleep. I woke up at 11, 
And I said, gosh, it's time to get up. I feel great. And I looked at the clock. It was 11 o'clock. I <laughs> hadn't been to sleep very long. So, then I did that again at 12.30 and 2.30. And I'll tell you, when it hit 3 a.m., I got up. I'm an early riser. Anyway, I'm off and up that early. But, oh. I'd like to be up because I love to watch the very first light of day come up. I like to have all my curtains open and then the light comes up and just to see this green earth and the beautiful flowers and the trees and I can't tell you what it means to me to be able to be a part of all of this. It's just such a genuine, genuine miracle. Now I'm going to use this on the outside, I think. Let's see. Oh, I really like that one. I'm going to use that on the outside. That was a tag on the back of this paper. So I'm, let's distress all of these up. I've already cut mine. The way I cut them was I put a piece of paper oh, underneath here, traced around it, and then cut just inside the line so it would fit. Very simple. Anyway, it is my favorite time of the day, morning. Well, I don't have an unfavorite time of the day. Life is just so amazing. Um, I just, I don't know, no matter what's going wrong, if I can get up early and Get that breath of fresh air in the morning and watch the sun come up, watch the first light of day come across the sky. It just makes me think of every day is just a miracle. And that no matter what challenges lay ahead of me for the day, I'm going to get through them. So we have that. So let's attach these pieces. Now I really like that brown. I'm going to use it. Whether it fits or not. And it is off just slightly right there. So I do need to clip that. Let's see if that fits. Yes, yeah, see? It was just a little bit, wasn't it? It's more like it's on that end. Okay, fine. I'll cut that end. Redistress it. There we go. Cross our fingers. Yes! Let that one dry. Let's come over here on this one. I'm going to put the word side out because that's the piece I cut. Art is not what you see, but I don't know what the rest of it is. It's on that paper though. So I'm going to glue that one down. Machine tool. Where are you? 
Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, on the inside, I'm going to use the side with the polka dots. Now it does have a, a label piece there, a tag, but I'm going to use the dotted side. You choose to use whatever you want to. Now, on the inside one, be sure it does not cross that line. And mine really does. I'm going to cut it down. I'm going to cut just a hair of paper off of it. I would rather have it be too small on the inside than too big. Okay, that'll be all right. Oh, there went just a little bit of thunder. There's some roofers over across the way, a block over maybe, not even that. And uh, I wonder how long that worked in the rain and thunder. Okay. Oops, I bent my envelope. Okay, we have this one almost done. We still have a band to put on here, a little belly band. <gasps> oh yes, it goes in the belly band. But... I have to tell you, right here, we have to put our, our um, piece. I wonder if I can pull that off. No! Don't do it, Angela. Don't do it. Disaster, disaster, disaster. Put it back down. Stop! Don't put this inside one on yet. Okay, but if you did, it's okay. I will show you how we'll fix it. We have to find our... Bring these four pieces over and get out your brads. Let's see. I'm going to use my Tim Holtz brads. I don't know if I even need them that long. I don't know where my shorter ones are. I think I have a bread box somewhere. Okay. Punch your bread through one of your holes. If it won't go. Get out that mean punchy tool. Work it around there. Okay, so there we go. Now, I forgot that we needed to put our brad underneath of our paper here. So we're going to go ahead and punch our hole. Let's figure out where we want them. Let me double check our envelopes. Just to be sure. Yeah. Okay. So about center, wherever you think your center is, make your hole. Little hole, little dot. Yeah, right there it is. On your envelope, insert your um, closure, top closure. Put your brad in place. Turn it to the side. And we are going to cover it. What are we going to cover you with? Hi ho, hi ho. Let me find a circle you know. Oh, I wish I had a piece of polka dot paper. But I think I used it all. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 
wait, 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 wait. Look at this. Polka dots, polka dots. I'm going to clip close to the edge. And I'm going to go ahead and distress that because I have distressed all these other edges and I don't want it to look off. It'll look like it's part of it this way. And put your glue on. And cover your bread up. My glue is not working today. What the heck? Change in weather maybe? Could that do it? Do you think? Oh my goodness. Must be. That's the only thing I can attribute it to is it was 100 degrees, 102 a couple days ago. And then yesterday it cooled down to 90s or something. This morning I went out and it was 72 at 3 a.m. So it was warm for Oregon. And now it's the rain has come in and it's really nice out there. Especially with the thunder off in the distance. What a beautiful sound. Okay, we have it. So we fixed that. So you get to learn lots of tips here on how to fix things when you mess them up. So that's good. It doesn't happen all the time, thank goodness. Now we don't have to worry about this one yet because we're going to cut a... Well this one is cut at one and a half inches. It's a one and a half inch wide band that's going to go on here. Now I originally made this band with a black piece under it. I think that's probably a good idea. So before we finish our other envelope, let's go ahead and get this one completed. Um, don't do that. On one end of a piece of black paper that is cut to one and where's my beautiful ruler. One and... <laughs> well, I have it cut at one and five sixteenths. So just over one and a fourth. Do a half inch score there. Let's see. I am getting to my scoring board. I have quite a mess here today. Okay, score that at a half an inch. Fold it under. This is going to hook on the inside of your envelope. And then we are going to fold it under here. And clip that off. Just give it about a half an inch there. Three quarters is fine. Whatever you want. Whatever it works out to be. And that is going to go there. Okay. So go ahead and glue this one down. Or use the tape. Tape is fine here. The tape is good anywhere you use it. I'm just not using it this time. Um, you probably will catch me using it. <laughs> I kind of switch back and forth. It's okay that that's crooked. It's okay we have lots of junk on the back there. Okay. Now. <laughs> we have to get that little piece out of there. Put glue on the underside of this half inch piece. Mm 
I'm trying not to give it an overabundance. Kind of more like scraping it on there. Roll that back over on the inside. There we go. So there is your belly band start. And then I added this to it and I only added this to the top section. I didn't wrap it at all. Didn't even wrap it. It just starting to go around the corner there. Let's see. Let me cut that off. Oh my goodness. I just realized that we're doing this video without a microphone. So I hope you've been able to hear me. Let me hook up the microphone. <laughs> See, I told you I was tired today. Where is my microphone? Oh, here it is. Okay. Hi. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Hi. Here I am. Sorry about that. I um, would have noticed it sooner had I have rolled over to my cutting board. Because every time I roll to my cutting board, I have to pick up my mic cord. Okay, so the first part of this video, did you hear me? <laughs> okay, here we go. Continuing on with a mic, a voice. I am so sorry about that. Okay, we are on the belly band. We've cut this small piece to go on top of it. Thank goodness you don't have to wear a mic. You know, thank goodness the camera has one in it. Um, otherwise, that would have been a dull video. I would have had to go back and voice over. Oh, I don't want to have to do that. That looks so hard. I don't know how people do it. But they do. You can use either side, whatever. This is just a scrap piece here. Um... When I first started the other album and I was using, trying to use my scraps, I wasn't as careful. But then I realized as I was getting through pack two, I had three packs to do it. But I challenged myself to only use two and I did not want to break into any more packs. Usually with Stamperia, well I actually had four packs of it, that's why I decided to make one first out of it to see if I could make it work. But normally with stamp period I will buy three packs of paper. But, oh, Angela. I did it again. Did you see that? This goes underneath that. Oh, wait. No, it doesn't. This goes underneath this. So, let's see. Let's cut this off straight on one end. And we are going to use our tape this time. Measure this down. I did not cut that off very straight. So I'll need to clip it. Let's see what we have there to there. And we have there. I'm just drawing a little line on both sides so I know right where to clip it so it's even with my paper. And let's cut this one off correctly. There we go. It will kind of stretch a little bit. With the, now this is where you start getting all the little hairs, so if 
you're wondering where all those little hairs are coming from on your clothing and stuff, it's this tape. Okay, I am using half inch. If you have three eighths, it might fit on this better. Okay. So we're cutting the score tape off. Did you even see me put it on? I'm sorry if you didn't. Okay. Now burnish this tape into your burlap ribbon. You'll be able to see the lines coming through on it. Okay. Now we need to place a hole in this. Hi love, what you need? Milk, sure. pop, bananas, apples. I can't remember what else we needed. Sounds good to me. I need milk for coffee. Okay. okay. See you later. Now, before you stick this down all the way, figure out where this is going to go. And it's going to go in about the middle. So I'm going to say right about there. Poke that hole through and through your tape. Don't let that tape down yet. Okay, run this through your tape. Then you're going to fold it over. And this time I want you to add another piece. Well, you don't really need to. We're going to add glue to it. It's okay if the glue comes out by your string here, your ribbon, your burlap ribbon. You kind of want it to, otherwise this stuff will fray. So I'm going to just give it a little bit of glue. And I'm going to rub it into that. I'm going to rub it into the fibers of that burlap ribbon. I'm going to do the same thing up here. I'm just going to rub it in. There we go. That will hold that ribbon. Now, you need some string. You decide if you want it to tie here on the bottom first with the knot. Give it its little knot. Kind of press that knot down. They're a knotty knot. Clip off that piece. Okay, so then it will wrap around. Decide how many times you want it to wrap around, where you want it to stop. And clip it off. Okay. Let me turn that down towards the base. And let me just make sure it's got glue right there. Burnish that, those fibers and that tape 
down into your paper. I think the other one we will go ahead and put through the belly band. Through the top part of the belly band. I think that'll hold a little better. Okay, so there's one. Now let's do this one. Before we put on the inside, we can go ahead and put on the outside. I'm listening to some thunder roll across the sky. Do you guys like the sound of thunder? Man, I love it. I'm kind of a person that loves all things. Amazing. <laughs> so uh, the only thing I can say is it's just everything. It amazes me. <laughs> I love to be a part of it. Okay, got a nice hole there. Let's punch it through without punching ourselves too. Now, we are going to do this one completely right, I promise. working very well today. Today my grand dog comes. Her name, oh my little square piece. That was a problem. Okay, my grand dog Ivy comes today. And um, that's not very well centered. You center yours cor correctly. Anyway, my grand dog, not granddaughter, but my grand dog, Ivy, comes today. There we go. Okay, now we can put this piece on. This is the correct way to do it. Ivy is a very cute doggy. She's got some shepherd in her and... Um, my daughter got her at the Humane Society. And uh, she's been a very good dog. Her and our dog get along fantastic. The only problem with Miss Ivy she seems to get so lonely for her mommy and daddy that she has to sleep with grandma and grandpa at night. <laughs> so if she's not in bed with us, she's crying, crying, crying for her mommy and daddy. And probably her kids. She loves her kids. And uh, so, okay, score that half an inch on one side of this. It just kind of helps you get started with it. Kind of helps to mark where we need to go next. Hook that. Roll that around to the back. Clip it off. Okay. Now before I did the back, go ahead and do the, pull this out and do the front first. I think that'll be a little bit better. If 
fold that back over and glue the other side down. Now I promise the roses one, the lace and roses, roses and lace, I'm not going to make it so difficult. <laughs> not that this one's difficult. This one is just time consuming due to the processes that I put into it. So, but they're fun, 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 fun this way, don't you think? Okay, we had an extra piece of this left over. Again, we're going to, going to cut it to fit. I'm going to roll over here now that I have my mic and lift up my mic cord. Oh my goodness. Slice that off. Erase my pencil line. Distress my edges. Okay. Let's have a look at that. Oh, that is off. I'll try and get this one in the semi right spot. It's okay, it'll just be a little crooked. Put a dot on your paper. There we go. Oh, there it is. Run your brad through. There we go. Run it through here. Oh dear. Do you see what I forgot? See, there's just so many steps in some things, isn't there? I have to put this down first. Draw your line. Clip it off. Half inch tape. Boy, thank you to whoever keeps reminding me what I need to do. Ah, oh, nice to have somebody helping me out out there today. Burnish this tape into your stuff. <laughs> Whatever this stuff is, burnish it in there. Burlap ribbon. Take off that tape pack. It's going to be okay. We're going to get that hole in the right place. Put this on your belly band. Burnish it down good. Wipe off any excess glue. If glue gets on the top of your ribbon, it is just going to make it look like um, a distressed rope. Like it's been used in the past for roping cattle. if you're a cowboy. And I'm going to clip this off just a little bit. See, it's showing up there. I really don't want that. But I do want to place that glue there. And I kind of want to wipe it over the edges there. And that will prevent that from fraying. Okay, I'm going to put that tool away because I'm picking it up for this tool. We had a hole that we put through. Go ahead and punch it back through the other way. Get your brad and put it through the hole. And voila, we did it. And there it is. 
Let's attach it to this. To our belly band. And there we go. Nice thing about a po nice pointed tool is it does get under there and burnishes in good. Okay, string. Let's put it down towards the bottom. One. Two. Flip that off. Now I'm going to just kind of get in there a little bit. Put a little bit of glue on that piece of the rope because they do start to fray. See that one is already fraying. It's okay if it glues it to this piece down here. Gotta press that glue in there a little bit. I don't want to glue that down. Oh, my nose has decided to be runny. What the heck? And I'm going to cut this one the same length as the other one. And we're not quite done with it. I think we'll wait to put the beads on at the end. That way they'll be out of the way. Now we need to put our last little piece on the inside. So find our extras. Um, I'll show you what I have. I'll take a look at it. Now it does not have to go all the way in. It only needs to go in just a portion. So I think I will use this piece that I have. It looks like this on one side and like boards on the other side. So it looks to me like it will be just fine. It goes in there and it's going to go in over here. Let me cut that in half. Let's see if the other one is the same length. Oh darn it is not. I sure wish it was. That would have been perfect. To have two the same. Okay. So that's going to go in there just like that. Yeah, I don't think I can get two out of it, even if I don't go down in that far. Let's see. From there to there is one and one sixteenth. Yeah, I wouldn't make it. So in this one goes. I'm not going to run the glue all the way to the base there. You don't need to. Um, It'll make it easier to get this envelope in the pocket. Oh, get in there, you. There we go.
there we go. That one is done. Now, that one is too short, really. Doesn't come over to the sides like I would like it to. I would love to use it. Okay, that's not deep enough, is it? Oh, boy, I don't know, it might be. Let's try it. Let's not try it that way. Let's try it this way. Save the pieces with words on them. You might be able to use them for the um, for the little envelope page that we're going to do. Okay, let's push this in there and see if it'll fit. Oh, look at that. It does. Perfect. Got to get it up by that line, but not over it. Okay. I sure love that brown paper there with the words on it. nice little envelopes. Cool. Here's that one. And here's this one. The knot on that one tied really fat. The knot on this one was perfect. Okay. Now you ha should have a piece of black paper left in your stash over there, or wherever your stash is. That is about a 12 inch piece of paper. On that piece of paper, score a half inch on each end. Now you do want to be sure that your envelope is going to fit on it. Like this. So score a half inch on each end. We're just saving a little time here. And I did double mat these um, with the purple and the black. But this time I'm just going to mat them with this black. And then we'll mat the back with purple or white. So on that one we're going to cut it there. And for this pocket, I just don't think we need to double mat it with this black paper and the white envelope and all the decorations we have on it. Cut this here and there and then save your centerpiece for something else. One, slide that on through, two, and in the save pile. Let's glue this on here once we're sure it fits, and it does. Oh, 
Oh, don't glue it on the back side of that. That doesn't make sense what I just said, but I'll be sure to tell you here in just a second. Make sure this is flipped over. Your hinge is going to go down on the down way. Going to point down. Okay, now you can flip it over. Oh, no, you can't. You'll have to do it from up here. Wipe in any excess glue that comes up. I'm going to just lift it up here a little bit and use my hand as a mat. I want to be sure that that gets glued all the way down there. Okay, there's one. Now make sure that this pocket's going on the opposite side, so you want to be sure that your hinge is on the right side. On this one, the hinge was on the left side. Erase any pencil lines you might have. I can see it. there's one right up there too. And put your glue on the back of the envelope. There it goes. Thought I was going to have to poke the pin in it. And glue it down. <laughs> I have a glass plant, hanging plant, um, oh, I know, it's a bird feeder, it's a glass bird feeder hanging in my window. There's no bird seed in it, <laughs> um, but I have it hanging in there because it's so beautiful. I have a hummingbird feeder here too, but we couldn't put hummingbird food in it. It dripped out. But it's so pretty that I hung it in here in my window. Okay. Let's attach these to our page. What do we do with our page? Here we go. The one with the pocket, of course. Now, these are going to go about a half an inch out from the bottom. Half an inch? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a quarter. There's a quarter of an inch. And, and about a quarter of an inch from the top of there. The, let me show you about a quarter of an inch from this line. So I'm just going to give myself a little line there. A quarter of an inch and a quarter of an inch. Just to kind of show me where I need to put my envelopes. Yep, I think that'll do. And that keeps them away from each other here. See, they almost touch, but they don't. Okay, let's glue this one down. And we have our quarter of an inch that we drew 
a line we just put there. Push this up to the edge of the pocket. But not over the edge. Don't push it over the edge. <laughs> Wipe the excess glue away so you don't glue your pocket down. There we go. There's pocket one. Let's put on pocket two. Whoops. Almost glued the inside, didn't I? Yike. Yike, Ola Angela. Okay. Look for your quarter inch line. And attach this one right on the edge of your pocket. And open it up. Get away the excess glue. Burnish it down. And take away any more glue that's just sticking out there. Okay. Yay! Look at that. Okay. Now, what next, my dears? Inside there. Okay, now we should have that paper that I said, don't glue it down. But I don't know what I did with mine. I hope I didn't. Oh, look. Save those. We're going to need them. Paper, where did you go? Oh, gosh, I hope I didn't use it for anything else. Let's close that. Put our white piece back there. I see it way over yonder. Ta da! Here it is. I love how this looks putting that little loop de loo in there. Now we can glue this piece of paper down. Yes, now we can glue it down. You can see it's the one with the tags on the back. If you like it better that direction, you can glue it that way. It is kind of cool, isn't it? Make nice little pocket areas. Okay. Oh, see, I almost did it. Whew. Glue, glue, glue your paper up and down the seams. Okay, we're getting there. to say the one thing nice about the glue is that you can move your paper around quite nicely. and get off any of that extra glue. Okay. Those are going to get held down with a um, 
page we're putting over top of this. Okay. Now let's make this piece here that goes inside so we can see our nice little shape we have here. We need to make paper that slips inside of here and fits nicely. So let's see if we have an extra. It does not have to go down very far. Okay, I have this as an extra, but I think I'll use this one on these. So I think I'll use... Oh, no. I don't want to do that. I'll go ahead and use this my paper like this one on these. I want the back to be a little different. A little bit different so you can see it well. Oh goodness. There it is. I had glued it down. As even as possible. Going to slice that off. At my mark. Let's see if it fits. It's a little bit tight. There, see how nice that looks, being a different design. But it does not need to be this long. Put this up here showing your edge and bring it down below your mark. You can't see paper down in there so no sense in wasting it, right? box. Anyway, we're supposed to have rain today. It's very warm. It's not hot, but it's warm for, you know, Oregon. Um, and then we're going to go back up in temperature again. But um, we've had a really nice, very nice summer. Um, just a comfortable summer. We've had a very comfortable summer. Hasn't been terribly hot. Um, we've had some hot days, but it hasn't been so hot that you feel like you're roasting all the time or sweating all the time. I'm not much on the heat. I much prefer the cooler air. Um, don't know why. My kids all love the heat. Okay. So it shows just up towards the top. Okay, now burnish it down good. Okay, let's get the backs of these. Um, we're going to measure them just a sixteenth of an inch away from the edge, top and bottom. And the side here, just a sixteenth down. There we go. I'm going to cut that 16th off first, then I should have the right size for the next envelope. 
for our second envelope. And let's see. Where's that mark? <laughs> Hard to see. I hope this is it. If not, I've cut the wrong piece. Now I'm going to stack this piece of paper on top of the next one. And I'm going to cut that one off. Oh, I rolled over my cord. There we go. Please fit. That one fits. That one fits. Well, that one's off. I'm going to straighten it out a little bit. Looks like I got it a little bit crooked. I'm not sure where the crooked is. Right there maybe. That's a little better, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's look at this one better. There we go. I think it goes that way. Yes. Pencil line off there. I had pencil line left over from something else. Okay, let's distress the edges. Now, if you'd like, you can put just photo map paper here with the white or the cream color that we're using. We are going to put one here, um, but it's not going to be attached. We're going to attach a little tuck spot. Well, I do have to say, I'm getting some green on that, and it's driving me nuts. I think that's better. Okay, let's put that one on first. Set this under here. Move a little bit on me. And then this one. Where that glue went to the front? Oh, to my finger. <laughs> oh, goodness. If I do it in my hand, that'll be better. Kind of burnish it down there. You don't, you don't want to bend your page either, so. Go gentle. Go gentle and easy, my friends. Press down those corners. And almost done with the base of page one. Now in those cutouts we have, what do we have? Um, we have one that is two letters. T 
take this piece and glue it to a piece of the black cardstock. Leave a little edge wherever you can that's less cutting. So glue this down to it. Did I distress it? Not yet. Distress it first, please. I couldn't quite tell on this one. It looks distressed already. But it was its own distressed look. Okay. Now, glue this down to a piece of black paper. We're going to fussy cut around it a little bit. Okay. I'll just cut that off. It'll make it a little easier to get around it. It does not have to be perfect. I'm a terrible fussy cutter. <laughs> so I try not to get too fussy about it for myself. I'm going to cut that off for just getting it out of my way. I'm terrible at the corners. I just... Uh, but I drive, I drive great. <laughs> I'm great at corners in my car, just not with my scissors. Okay, the center of your page, up about a less than a quarter of an inch, about an eighth of an inch maybe. Maybe even a sixteenth. You're going to put glue just on the bottom of one of these. And put it on the base, center base, or approximate center. Burnish it down good. We want that to stay there. And look at that. Now we have a nice little thing. We'll have to put a dash of color on it. You know, a little something that gives it a little pop. Red, green, blue. It doesn't really matter, but I think it just a little bit here and there we need a pop of color. Okay, so I think I will take a quick break. And then I will be right back. Time to go wash my hands. Get all that stuff off of there before we get started on the more complicated part. See you in a little bit. Bye-bye. <laughs> 